You guys, my name is Tom. My last name is Supra. I've been a professor here at George Brown College for 22 years, I think. <laughs> I'm almost forgetting at this point. But I just want to let you guys know that actually my background is entrepreneur. So I am an entrepreneur. And what I want to showcase to you actually is what I've done with my entrepreneur skills, right? So what I've done with it, because not everybody starts their own business, right? Like they become entrepreneurs and then it's not necessarily that they start their own business. Sometimes people are classic entrepreneurs. They start a business at some point in their life. Occasionally people are, you know, serial entrepreneurs. They start multiple businesses. Um, and, you know, sometimes people just decide at a certain age that they want to be their own boss. And so they want to move forward with, uh, you know, ideas and plans that they've done before as well. And I've done this. So I just want you guys to know I ran a business starting in, you know, roughly around 1998. I ran that till about 2005. It was in the IT space. So websites uh, and, you know, databases and things of that nature. What I want to um, showcase to you is how I've applied my entrepreneurial thinking and my entrepreneurial skills inside a large institution like George Brown College and what we've built surrounding this uh, B416 program, okay? So, and what we're building together. Because I like to co-create things like this with you. This is about networking. This is about connections with each other as well. I know as an entrepreneur that we need to get entrepreneurs into the room together and that we need to speak to each other and we need to mentor one another. That's just the way that it works. Uh, Meleha, welcome as well. Um, feel free to ask any questions as I go, um, you know, at any time. My name is Tom, okay? So feel free to just reach out to me. I'm going to share my screen here, um, a certain uh, website for you all to see. Hang on for one second while I uh, figure out which uh, website I want to show you first. I think I'm going to start with an organization uh, that I, I think is really... Uh, a useful and valuable organization that's sort of a global organization as well. Um, I'm going to start with this because I think that uh, you will find a lot of benefits in this type of an organization as well. Um, and it really sort of talks about entrepreneurship and really starts us on the journey of the ecosystem that we have built for entrepreneurship here at George Brown College. Dado is on the call with me as well and assisting. So thank you so much for assisting with us today. So he'll also monitor the chat because I can't really see the chat at the same time as I'm doing these and sharing screen. I'm actually, uh, you know, delivering. So I actually am the senior faculty advisor for our Enactus team here at George Brown College. Enactus is a moniker that talks about entrepreneurship, acting, like action, and all of us together. And basically, it's the Social Enterprise Club. We run a number of different projects at this point in time. We have six project teams inside of that club. And, uh, you know, this is a, a club that really runs a number of different entrepreneurial oriented type projects and things. So um, Enactus really sort of sparked me into moving more into the entrepreneurship space and so that we could actually build out a larger ecosystem. So, you know, if you join, um, you know, George Brown College, please join my Enactus team if you are sort of a socially conscious person. We do things like uh, create businesses that will uh take those single use plastics and replace them and that type of thing with organic materials, that type of thing. And also we offer a lot of uh, entrepreneurship assistance and mentorship and advice for people that are putting together their business plans. Enactus really gave us the ability to create a center that is like a career center for entrepreneurs at George Brown College. This career center is actually called Start GBC. And I wanna point it out to you because this is like you know, our triaging center that allows all entrepreneurs across George Brown College, uh, when they're ready for that venture capital or the angel investment, all entrepreneurs can come in to start GBC and we'll triage them into the areas that are necessary. There's extra trainings in there, there's workshops um, and that type of thing as well at start GBC. We also have a number of advisors and other people as well. As entrepreneurs, you're not just taking a program with us, you're joining this ecosystem. And, you know, so we are developing an organic community of entrepreneurs that will help each other out in the business world 
uh, later on. You can imagine if you're a finance entrepreneur, you probably do need to connect with IT professionals or other individuals that are running coaching and that type of thing and other businesses too. So we recognize that this is all about connections and connecting people together. Start GBC was actually um, started and promoted by Enactus, our student Enactus team. So this was students that really pushed in this direction to start this organization. Now, deriving from Enactus and Start GBC, we actually have one of our projects on Enactus, which is called Youth Going Forward. This is all student run, you guys. Honestly, it's, it's completely student run. Youth Going Forward brings in guest speakers, mentors, advisors, etc. Uh, on a very consistent basis. These people come in as mentors, they speak um, to uh, a group of students that are have membership with, within this whole ecosystem, including the B416 Entrepreneurial Management students. We have about 32 entrepreneurship programs here at George Brown College, across the college, and uh, you know we like to try to tie them in together. So, with that, youth going forward, student team filters into Start GBC and collectively together, what we do, what we did was build an entrepreneurship club at George Brown College. We just started this. This is the beginning of the journey. So if you join us, you will be considered sort of founding members of our entrepreneurship club. We did this with our analytics program and built an organic community that now has about 500 people in that community of analytics professionals. I want to do the same with entrepreneurs, including you. And so bring you in so we have a huge community that goes well beyond just simply the program itself. This is the vision that we have for B416 and entrepreneurship at George Brown College. So the Entrepreneurs Club will triage people, will bring in guest speakers and things of that nature as well as we go, okay? So that's the ecosystem. Enactus for social enterprise, Start GBC is like our career center for people that are ready for venture capital and investment. Um, and then they triage you into incubators as well. We have a number of different incubators across George Brown College. There's a gaming incubator, there's a fashion incubator, there's a number of different ones as well. So you can get the support that you need to be able to move forward. Many of you are questioning whether or not you know, you should go towards an incubator or whether you should go to education and take a, a program like this. Um, our program gives you the support of the mentors and, you know, the faculty and other people uh, and the ecosystem that I just explained to you. As you can see in LinkedIn here, um, we already have 53 members in our entrepreneurship club, even though it's only been running since the beginning of September. So, you know, you, you'll watch this grow exponentially over time as well. So those are, that's our ecosystem that we're building around entrepreneurship here at George Brown College. We see this as a whole school initiative. We see it as you as being part of a larger family. And, you know, we see you as being, uh, you know, someone that we should support in the program, during the program, and even beyond the program. Now, not everybody takes this program and starts a business. That's true. I am showcasing to you the application of my entrepreneurship skills inside a large organization like George Brown College, right? So I didn't sit still and say, hey, I only want to teach. That's all I want to do is teach classes and I'm done as a professor. I wasn't interested in that. What I was interested in was in building through teams these ecosystems. What I'm doing is applying my entrepreneurial thinking these are called entrepreneurship skills, and I'm applying them inside a larger organization. So, you know, these skills are incredibly valuable to decision makers and people within organizations because they're creative skills. The entrepreneur is the person that it doesn't matter whether or not, uh, you know, you're an HR professional or a marketing professional. If the Internet goes down, you're going to figure it out. That really is sort of the mentality and the personality of an entrepreneur. And I try to showcase those skills at George Brown College specifically. I am the program coordinator for B416. And if you join our program, what I'd like you to do is reach out to me at any time 
Uh, I will give you my email address after we are done uh, today as well. Please reach out to me and let's speak. Join me and help me co-create this ecosystem. What are the pieces that are missing and what are the things that we need to do? We require an executive of students within the entrepreneurship club to uh, start to run activities and things like this and elevate the profiles of their businesses and things of that nature as well. Okay, so the support is there for you. I just want you to be aware of that. Does anybody have any questions about the support systems that we have? Maliha, Monica, feel free to just drop your questions into the chat as we go. Um, I see the two of you are in here. Anyone else? Um, I, in the chat, I'm actually going to ask Dado to put my email address. Would you mind, Dado, uh, just typing my email address? It's T-S-U-P-R-A at georgebrown.ca into the chat room for me. That would be helpful. Okay, let's talk about the program. So you've decided that you want to be an entrepreneur, you're interested in running your own show, or you're interested in being like Tom, you know, and, and showcasing those entrepreneurship skills or entrepreneurial skills learned through becoming an entrepreneur really um, into a large organization. So it's not like I'm restricted and I have to only run my own business. It's just that I have all the skills to be able to build things from scratch and make them quite large. And actually I can do things even with volunteers, which is great. So excellent skills to work on teams and things that I pulled out of uh, my entrepreneurial activities. And right. Okay. Our program runs two semesters. It's eight months. Um, here's the web page itself. So you just simply click on inside Bro George Brown College. Just go to the search and, uh, you know, it's behind my face here, but go to the search and put in B416 to be able to see the information in the program. I just want to show you the program availability here as well. We run our two semesters. We run semester one in the fall term. So that's September to December. We also run semester one in the winter term. So that's January to April. So you're in luck. You can start a month from now. You know, if you get on it and apply, you can actually get into our program uh, starting in January. Semester one is online. So, you know, you can start in January. You can still be online. If you are an international student, however, um, we have certain requirements with respect to, I think the government has requirements uh, for you. So please reach out to our international center to understand a little bit more about those requirements. Even though semester one is uh, considered online this January, um, you know, still the, um, uh, I think there are requirements for you to actually be in Canada regardless. So please reach out to our international center if you have questions, if you are an international student applying to B416 um, and you have questions and you're not already in Canada. Um, our second semester runs um, in January to uh, April and also in the spring term, spring summer term from a May until the um, until August. It's possible for people to take this program part-time if you wish, but it will extend your program out for a couple of years if you take like two courses per term because, you know, semester one runs two terms, uh, fall and winter, semester two does winter and spring and that's it, right? So you have to organize your time with respect to the courses that you're taking. I'll scroll down a little bit and show you the courses. So you just simply scroll down and click on courses on this program page that you can see on the George Brown web page. In semester one, you can see these are the courses at this time in January. Semester one is fully online. Uh, this is semester two as well. You can see we only have four courses in semester two. Um, but you will notice that there are two courses particu in particular that require you to successfully complete all of semester one. And that makes sense because this course is all about your overarching business plan, which is the value proposition of this program. At the end of this program, I hope that you will come in with your idea. If you don't come in with your idea, we will certainly go through a process to help to spark the idea and find that. Then you rest into that quickly and start to actually build out and understand the components of that business plan. Vocationally, right? We really want to apply this in the real world I'd love for you to actually walk out the door with that business plan, ready to go to a bank, 
to your grandmother or whoever is giving you the angel investment or venture capital to be able to start that business. I'm more than happy to help you get through the door to do that. That's the value proposition. And so successfully completing the first semester is one of the core things that you need to do before you actually go into the course where you're putting together your business plan. That just makes sense. This one is an entrepreneurial speaker series, and we want to make sure that the questions that you're asking to the other entrepreneurs are relevant and valid, and that you've had sort of a collection of understanding of information, you know, to be able to ask those questions, and those will make that course in entrepreneurial speaker series a much richer experience. Okay, so in terms of your own scheduling and planning for your life, please realize this is a regular program, just like we normally have at George Brown College, and we have two semesters back to back. We do not have a co-op. It doesn't really make sense for entrepreneurship. Um, there's no internship situation. However, you know, again, you're joining the ecosystem. The idea is that we're trying to put lots of uh, different networked people, business people, professionals, uh, individuals that can assist entrepreneurs, people that are interested in entrepreneurship into the Entrepreneurs Club at George Brown College, and that we can actually assist you with, you know, all the things that are necessary, including, you know, some, some support on finding work. Those of you that are also international students, never fear. It is true that as you come to Canada, there are requirements for you to actually, um, you know, work in regular jobs as well as potentially starting your business. And so we do have a career center that assists with uh, resume building and all that kind of stuff as well to find work here. And also you're connected to me. Um, you know, I certainly put forth 110% effort to try to help all of my students wherever possible. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to you and you can see the two semesters that we have here and understand a little bit more about the scheduling. I'm never sure exactly where the schedule will land because this is entrepreneurship and, you know, getting entrepreneurs to actually leave their work or their jobs and what they're doing and come to campus and that kind of thing is actually quite the challenge. They're so busy. Right. And we have such high quality people teaching that, um, you know, they're they're extremely busy people in the real world, too. So at the end of the day, you know, um, the schedule is a little bit fluid. Sometimes I'm not 100 percent sure where that schedule lands, whether we have classes in the afternoon or, you know, possibly there's a class in the evening. You know, sometimes we have them in the morning. So, you know, we have to be a little bit flexible on our schedules with respect to taking this program. It's only eight months. So it's just a matter of uh, discussing with your employers to say that you need just a little bit of flexibility for two semesters in order to get through this program. But then at the end of it, you'll come out with entrepreneurial skills and probably help them creatively grow their business in multiple ways. And that's really um, what we're trying to get to at the end here. I'm going to click on the careers and postgraduate study opportunities, which you can see. Okay, I see here small business owner, freelancer, and entrepreneur. But you know what? At the end of the day, I've hopefully explained to you how I've applied my entrepreneurship skills inside the context of a larger organization. So entrepreneurs work for large organizations as well. And I like to think that, uh, you know, George Brown College appreciates the monsters that we build together as well. I'm going to skip the tuition and fees. I think that's something that's covered by other individuals um, and how to qualify and apply and all that stuff. Um, uh, contact us information is here and I want to show you this is my information down here as well. This is me, Tom Supra. I'm the coordinator for B416. Um, incidentally, I also teach computer applications classes and uh, management of information systems and I teach uh, information systems to accountants. Um, you know, I'm an analytics professional and really interested in, you know, going down those paths of artificial intelligence and that type of thing. So that's a little bit about me. Um, my director, Elizabeth Spears, would be more than pleased to welcome you to our program. So um, at this point in time, that is the program itself. If you have any questions, I'll actually bring up the courses so you can have a look at them. And I will open it up to any questions that you may have. Monica, do you have any questions after that? Feel, feel free to take the mic. So is the entrepreneurship program only postgraduates or postgraduates? Yeah. yeah, so right now in the School of Management, 
Um, the postgraduate program is uh, generally for, you know, I'm going to stop the share here so you can see me. Um, you know, yes, the, the program is actually a postgraduate program. So usually you're finished your diploma or your degree at this point, and you're coming back and you're doing, it's a short kind of program that gets you up and running uh, with entrepreneurship um, and that type of thinking or whatnot. We have a number of different postgrad programs in a similar vein. But Monica, you know, of course, in uh, our diploma programs, you will learn, you know, some of the aspects of entrepreneurship. Even I teach in a first course, it's called Biz 1038. Um, I know that the sixth class discusses the difference between a management track and an entrepreneurial track. So just because you take programs that will lead towards uh, management doesn't mean that you won't eventually become an entrepreneur, right? So, you know, still you can go in that direction with some extra guidance and help. If you George, join George Brown College, probably or any college really, um, we have lots of support structures to help you on that journey. A lot of our, if you go to startgbc.com, you'll see a number of our alumni that take totally different programs, but then become uh, entrepreneurs as well. So, you know, this is a larger family and we look at your educational journey as a longer, um, you know, lifetime kind of thing, right? So um, it's more about making connections and networking and ensuring that you have the skills or get the skills that are necessary to be successful in the job market and or start your own business and you know get the supports for that as well okay does that make sense yeah and so i want to do e-commerce and i'm not sure which program i should study okay so you know maybe i suggest monica are you coming just out of high school like i'm an adult so i don't have a degree yet Okay, so you're a mature student, but um, without a degree at this point. Okay, yeah. so, you know, at the end of the day, um, I might recommend that you take a look at some of our business administration programs, for example, it kind of gives you the breadth and, you know, the breadth of understanding business a little bit more. You know, for instance, um, you know, I, I have a friend who's a graphic designer, and I recommended to her that she do this because she was an artist. And she really understands graphic design and everything, but she really had a hard time understanding, uh, you know, the business aspects of how to run her own show, be a freelancer, that kind of thing as well. So I recommended to her to do like a business administration type diploma program, um, you know, with or without co-op. That's that's your choice in terms of whether you want the support and help with, um, you know, assist, assist you to find work and things like that. But, um, you know, yeah, at the end of the day, I recommended that and I think that it was really valuable to pick up the skills of understanding things like marketing 101, you know, HR and those components as well really helped out. Does that sound like something that would um, assist you, Monica? So does business administration include supply chain as well as marketing? Yes, exactly. It's actually a breadth of everything. So you do a little bit of this, a little bit of this, little, like all of it, right? So then you kind of get the idea or the gist. So picture someone like me, I'm an IT professional. So we have four schools in the Center for Business. We have the accounting school, the HR school, the marketing school, and the management school. I'm, I'm slotted in the management school, which is where the entrepreneurship program resides. However, because my skill sets are computers, they cut across all the schools, right? So I can teach HR students, you know, about applicant tracking systems and I'm teaching accounting students right now, management of information systems, you know, so that they can actually get through their certification exam. So certain skill sets cut across all the different uh, divisions and strategic business units of a business. So that's why I recommend, um, you know, a business administration program for yourself. However, I can't make these choices and decisions for you. It's just, it gives you that breadth, I think. So I'd, I'd have a look at something like that. I think it's B145. Um, just, you know, and then eventually when you're finished that program, then you want the support of becoming an entrepreneur, you would take B416 and we would then start guiding you into uh, Start GBC and our, uh, our larger ecosystem. Okay. okay, thank you. Sure, no problem. Do you have any other questions? So e-commerce, that is related to supply chain and marketing? Well, okay, so I think the supply chain is what you're talking about when you mention your drop ship business, right? So the whole idea that, hey, the customer just orders and it 
it automatically comes from Amazon or something, right? And you're you're the salesperson. Yeah. So, you know, when you say e-commerce to me, I'm I'm feeling like you're, what you mean and what you're thinking is you're meaning a website, right? And so really the website or the e-commerce aspect is is the retail shop. Just think of it that way. So it's like, you know, this person's going to open up a, re, a, a bricks and mortar retail shop. Monica is going to open up an online shop, but you have to have the products to sell, right? So the business itself is the products that you're going to sell or the services that you're going to sell. The e-commerce aspect is actually the retail shop. Once you have the business running, do you know what I mean? Because you're selling, like you're selling pens or markers or something, pens, you sell pens, Okay. And now you're selling it at like, you know, a shop over here. And then also you're, you've opened up a, a web, an e-commerce, like instant e-store or web or Wix store or something like that. Or even on Amazon, you're a preferred seller, something like that. Right. And you're doing the drop ship business via Amazon, but you have to know what those business, what those products are going to be. So Monica, where you want to start is thinking about the products. And then you also want to start thinking about who the customers are. Okay. Thank you. Just start with those two pieces. All right. Okay. Thanks, Monica. Uh, Noshaba, Rosa, welcome. Um, do you guys have any quick questions for me before I end this session? <laughs> this is being recorded, by the way. Uh, when would we be able to get the recording of the session? Okay. Uh, Dado, do you have that answer by any chance? Do you know when the recording sessions will be available? Uh, I'm not sure about that yet, uh, Tom. Yeah, so most probably, yeah, I will. Uh, Rosa, can you, yes. okay. Rosa, can you do me a favor and in the chat, just drop your email and I'll make sure to email it to you. Okay, and anyone else, uh, Noshaba, Monica, if you guys want to drop your emails into the chat for me, then I can personally uh, send you this, this video when it's available. Okay, thank you. Do, is there any specific questions that I can answer before I jump off? You might have answered my question, so I'm not going to ask it now, but it would be great to be able to email you if there's anything additional. Oh, sure. And you know what? For any of you, please, Noshaba, thank you. For any of you, please feel free to send me an email. Um, here, I'll drop my email as well into the chat, but I will send to the two, the two of you. Um, I will send you the, this recording when it's done. Um, it just talks about the ecosystem that we have here at George Brown College, which includes Enactus, our social enterprise, Start GBC, our career center for entrepreneurs, uh, youth going forward, the student team under the Enactus that are actually bringing in mentors and speakers, a speaker series in B416, and the Entrepreneurs Club in LinkedIn. So I just talked about that really quickly, but I want to send that to you guys for sure. Um, Dado has put my email into the chat room down there. My name is Tom. Feel free to call me Tom, last name Supra. And you know, if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to just send me an email and I'm more than happy to, uh, you know, to communicate with you that way if we need to have a phone call or anything like that as well. You know, um, whether you choose us or not, because you know, at the end of the day, I, I, I know that entrepreneurs need to put their heads together and we just need to really talk about your thoughts and your ideas and everything like that. And I'm definitely a huge proponent, uh, a huge uh, promoter of people's businesses. And I am actually a shareholder in two restaurants here in, in and a beer company. <laughs> <laughs> two restaurants and a beer company. Um, I think we sell about 12 or 13 beers at this point in time within the, the, the Toronto area. So I've actually transformed from being not just an, an entrepreneur, but being an investor in other entrepreneurs as well. So please feel free to reach out to me at any time. Monica, Noshaba, Rosa, thank you so much for joining me. Anyone else that popped in and out and the video or anyone that's watching this, please feel free to send me an email if you have any questions about our B416 program or the overarching um, you know, entrepreneurship, intrapreneur um, ecosystem that we have at George Brown College. Thank you so much for joining me today. If, you, if there's no further questions, I'll end the session. You can go on to the other, the other activities of the day.